All right, good afternoon. How's everyone doing today? Okay, let me just pull this chat over here so I can see what you guys are saying. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm Eric, Eric Camp, uh, community manager for Penny Pop. Uh, this stream's gonna be a little short, a uh, little shorter than usual because uh, don't have too much to go over. Um, so as previously mentioned, we were going to have the Lost Temple Challenge today uh, or yesterday, this week, um, but because we moved Dominion up so that if there were any issues we could, uh, we could check those out, we decided to postpone that until next week. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, basically next week, next Thursday at 2 p.m. PDT, so same time as right now, just day sooner, we're gonna be ha uh, we're gonna be having a Lost Temple Challenge. So, basically I'm going to be accepting 23 people into, uh, a troop that I'm gonna be running. And uh, so we're gonna do Lost Temple, and uh, we'll have a challenge like, uh, depending on the power uh, that we have in the troop is gonna be the balance that decides what kind of challenge, because we don't wanna make it too easy, don't wanna make it too hard, um, and those watching will get a prize if we complete that challenge. So whether or not you get to be on the troop or whether you're just a viewer, you'll wanna make sure to attend. Um, fan page, Facebook uh, fan page, just search us on the uh, on Facebook for Battle Camp, and uh, it's one of the top posts there. So check it out. So today, uh, so we have the introduction. Gonna talk about a few things. Um, in a little bit, I'll be taking some questions about Dominion. We just started Dominion yesterday. Brand new event. Uh, just capture the towers and get points and things like that. Um, before we do that, let me go over. Uh, 
some minor announcements. Let me see, let me get my notes here. Uh, all right, so as you may have known, we have a fan art contest that's on the forum, so forums.pennypop.com. And uh, so there are four total prizes, with the first place prize being 500 gold and a whole bunch of other items. And then the gold is still pretty high on the other ones that just goes down. I think the second place is 350 gold and some avatar grabs or some other grabs. Um, I think first place I give you a costume as well. Whatever costume you want, I'll give it to you. Um, and then we have two third place prizes as well. So fan art contest, draw a BC inspired monster, whether that's a concept art of you know something that you want to design or maybe a second evo concept something that you'd like to see maybe uh maybe let's see which one doesn't have a second evo like uh i think uh the, what's his name slush guppy i think slush guppy i've seen a few people want a second evo for that i think someone actually did uh make a concept of that already but just an example make something like that make a new monster just has to be yours and uh, just new. For the love of God, someone says, give power plants a second evo. Well, let us see what you, th you think he'd, uh, he'd look like. Enter the contest and uh, our artist might be inspired. So, Salmon Bunny, yeah, that's another good one. Um, other than that, so the team is working really hard on update 3.20, so we just updated 3.10, uh, I think that's what we're on I don't know something like that and uh, and so we're working hard on those features so it's it's still quite a ways out several weeks but uh, we're gonna start being able to show you some of the content that's coming out hopefully in a couple of weeks so stay tuned so we'll post those on Twitch uh, similar to what we did for Dominion and uh, Monster XP and things like that um, all right so let's go into Dominion so just to mention uh, Okay, so first of all, if you haven't played Dominion or you're slightly confused, basically you have five towers in the Dominion camp. Uh, once you have a damage to claim, uh, which is based on the highest PR of either person or the person on either troop. So whoever's the strongest in that whole match, the amount to claim that tower is based on his PR or her PR. And uh, so that's not an individual thing that's everybody everybody can attack the tower and then claim that whether it's five million or forty million or, or something like that um, you get one point per second for a tower that you control and if you control two towers you'll get you know two points per second and so on and so forth um, earning five I mean controlling five towers earns you uh, double individual trophies during that time so it's really tough we know that it's hard and it is intended to be difficult uh, the trophy distribution is a little bit different in each event so um, so that's something that kind of requires a little bit of uh, building over time of your teams and strategy so just started the event so it's new to everybody so uh, there are plenty of strategies I've seen people already starting to use like everybody going on one tower instead of distributing their focus all around um, and then when they get that, they kind of move on and so forth. Um, another thing to mention, let's see in my notes. Um, let's see, no questions. Um, oh yeah, so and then Sergeant Lovejoy, of course, tells you the points distribution. So whoever has the most points at the end of the match wins. So if either side doesn't ever claim a tower at all, doesn't get that maximum you know damage to claim amount uh then they won't get any points and then it'll result in a tie so you'll still get your individual trophies but your troop itself won't get any trophies for that um, if you win your troop gets double trophies not individual uh the troop itself just like in troop wars and then the um i just forgot what i was gonna say something so, oh yeah sorry so the uh and then the losing team, you know, gets only a fraction of the individual accumulated individual trophies. Uh, okay, sorry, I was reading some of the questions. Someone wants more second evos for the supers. So uh, yeah, that's fine. BC Global, go to BC Global on fan, uh, Facebook and tell us which ones you want, and uh, we'll pass it on to the uh, the art team. I mean, 
it is difficult we do have a limited staff so we can't make second evos for every monster and there are some monsters that we probably wouldn't make second evos for because it you know it diminish the power and the special yeah, specialness i'm sure that's not a word but specialness uh for the other ones that do have those so uh and that create gives them a sort of value for trading and for you if you actually can be able to uh get one yourself okay so anyway back to dominion sorry about that um oh yeah so just to make note uh so there was a bug where i, th I think some people were reporting this on i mean i know some people were reporting this on bc global and uh in support uh but there was a bug where the towers were, that were being claimed um or basically people were getting points uh before they should have because there was some sort of minor bug it wasn't there weren't very many cases that I saw of this happening, uh, but that is now fixed. Uh, there were also some reports of event quests uh, that were not activating. So if you say, I think it's a uh, win, win one uh, dom Dominion match, and then you get like 200 trophies or something like that, um, and then you weren't getting it, uh, that has been fixed. Uh, if there are any others that you see, definitely let us know we are very interested to hear your feedback and hear any complaints that you have bc global fan page uh even twitter i've seen some seen some uh posts on twitter so thank you for your comments all right yes happy national donut day to you as well all right let's take some questions i know there's been some confusion because this is a new event and everyone's still trying to figure it out. They're reading the rules and reading the posts that we've made, but it's still just a little bit hazy, certain things. Um, and maybe a couple of the minor bugs uh, may have caused a little bit more confusion with that. But feel free to ask any questions that you have about Dominion, and I'll uh, try and get those answered. Uh, while you're doing that, I can talk a little bit about what else we're going to do in the uh, show today. So we will be doing just a simple game. We've done it before. Uh, just going to find me in the map, um, in the map anywhere. Going to move maybe from camp to Lost Temple. Uh, who knows? And then, uh, then you, basically, but this time actually, this time I'm going to do it a little bit different. This time I'm going to, I'm going to have this image pop up. This is our design that we have for the iPhone. Uh, I think the Android too, uh, cases that I think you can buy them on Amazon. Uh, gonna cover it up, gonna move to a different map, people are gonna guess, and uh, a random person, whoever's right, uh, will get some energy or gold, uh, whatever. I mean, would you rather have gold or would you rather have energy? Let me know. All right, why, someone's asking why is Zol uh, Zodiac specialization not changing? Uh, that's actually a good question. I mean, uh, that is one factor that could happen. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll let the team know about people being interested in that. Uh, it is a good point. I mean, it is it is uh, intended to be specific. Like you know, the wind I think has uh, Virgo and you know the summer ones. Uh, I think that's like Cancer and something else. Could be wrong. And then I think. I think Rock has like Scorpio and things like that, but uh, yeah, I'll mention that to the team. Zodiac specialization. It'd be nice if that was random. It'd be random. Okay, I see people want gold and rerolls. Sorry, I will not be giving away rerolls. Maybe one time I might give away one reroll. That'd have to be like the grand prize of all grand prizes. Rerolls are very rare. Very, very valuable. Uh, let me see. I'm checking for Dominion questions. Give me all of your Dominion questions. Okay. While that's going in, I'll answer Benny's question about R boosting. He says, I don't get R boosting. Please elaborate. Okay, so R boosting is a little confusing at first, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it makes sense. So the gray monsters, those are the monsters that you get from 
the uh, the grabs. So those are damage monsters. And after the event, there's a lot less use for the damage monsters than there are for the reward monsters because they're not as powerful. And not they're not intended to be as powerful because they don't, you know, they have the they have the bonuses during the event and when the event's over. You know, we don't want them to be OP, right? We wouldn't want you to have a mob that's, you know, you wouldn't, we wouldn't want you to win a mob that's less powerful than the one that you get, you know, that's temporary, right? So since those have a gray thing, gray E on them, uh, after the event is over, you can salvage those, which turn into reward type monsters. So they're treats. Uh, so basically, you feed those to your reward monsters. So they are technically the same as reward monsters when you feed them to other reward monsters, except they are not as powerful. So basically it turns them into a type of reward monster. All right, let me see some questions here. Hmm, what's the best troop for Dominion? I'm not sure what you mean by best troop. If you mean the best strategy, um, I don't know. I mean, there are plenty of strategies that you can have. I mean, we gave you quite a bit of different options, so you can, you know, you can put up a shield if you see your opponent um, going after a tower that either you want or that you just want to make it harder for them to attain. Uh, that makes it a lot harder. You know, your whole troop could focus on maybe four people here or three people here focus on. Uh, a specific tower, uh, like maybe if one has event mobs, you might have him handle his own tower or or something like that. It depends on who's on who's online too. Uh, maybe having uh, troop schedules would help you guys out too. Um, but you know, go to the forums, go to BC Global, and uh, talk about what you you know your best strategies and uh, what you found to be helpful. I'm sure, others would appreciate that too. Uh, any changes coming for low power troops not being able to claim towers in Dominion? So we did talk about this a little bit earlier today. Uh, we talked about, you know, the pros and cons of having uh, the damage claim the way it is. And so the very first match, um, I know there were a lot of people who were saying, oh, it's too easy or it's oh, too hard. But just like in Troop Wars, you'll always have, you'll always have uh, the first match being random. So we can't really base it off of, you know, uh, something, oh, hold on, sorry, looks like my, oh, there we go, uh, we can't just base it on, like, random PR or things like that, so it's based on just a random thing, and then once the first match ends, then you're matched up against, uh, similar, tr uh, similar troops of, like, trophy amounts, and then the damage to claim is decided by you know, the highest player. Um, and, you know, we were talking about that, me and our designer and uh, our server guy, and he, uh, we're just going to see everybody's feedback. I mean, it will get easier, too. So, I mean, as you get stronger and as you build out your teams and things like that, you know, the damage to claim is going to get easier. So we don't necessarily want Dominion to be just like the easiest thing uh, one week and then next month you know, when we run it again, uh, it's too easy, something like that. But I mean, uh, we did think about having like, you know, one point to damage claim and making that easier and then it just being based on uh, who controlled it uh, longer, but uh, we'll keep we'll keep talking about it and see, uh, see where we're at with that. Let's see. Mm, let's see. But if you're a low troop, and you are having a hard time with the uh, damage claim, I would highly recommend you finding just one crystal and stating it early. I mean, maybe maybe the majority of your team has uh, fire monsters or something, then definitely all go after the grass crystal. Or maybe your opponent is going after the grass crystal, then you go after one other one and you just go hard, on, uh, hard after that and like use your boosters um, use any event monsters that you have, things like that. Any changes coming for... Oh, I just answered that one. Okay. Can you reuse your event monsters? Uh, at this moment, uh, I believe you will be able to for the next Dominion. Okay. 
Let's see. You said the max HP to Clement Tower is based off the team's player with the strongest PR. Is that off the max PR? Yes, definitely. So if your current PR is, for example, like mine right here, it's 328, um, but my maximum PR is higher, it's going to go after the max PR. The reason the reasons should be pretty obvious because we don't want we don't want the highest or the strongest you know players in the game just putting on commons and then getting matched with a super new troop and then just destroying them. You know we wouldn't want that. So here you can see my current PR is 328,000 and my highest PR is 421. So if I got matched on this account and I was the strongest uh, player based on my highest PR, then the damage to claim would be based off of that. Okay. Is Dominion coming back every month or just four times a year? Um, not sure where you got, got four times a year, but uh, I believe the plan is every month. Um, uh, we do want to keep it in the rotation, especially if everyone likes it. Uh, then I believe the plan is every month. Why the difference in trophies from, say, Leaf and Stone? Uh, leaf, say, tw uh, 200 and stone, uh, stone 12. That does seem like a major difference. Uh, there will be a major difference. Uh, there will be a significant difference, but not quite a major difference, um, based on the Zodiac specialization. And I believe there is an infinity for the actual element. Um, so, yes, so if you have a fire team that's Virgo and you're, you know, attacking the water monster or the water tower and it's something completely different, uh, I don't remember which one it is, I think it's Pisces or something like that, uh, then you won't do as well as if you go after the one that is Virgo and, you know, whatever. Bad example, but you kind of get what I mean. Do I have to be with my troop members to participate in Dominion? Uh, no you don't. Well, as long as your admin signs you up for the match just like uh, just like Troop Wars, once it starts you can participate. So if you were the only one who wanted to hammer away at the towers, you'd have a lot harder time doing it. Um, you, this really is a troop based uh, event, especially D Dominion is especially a uh, troop based event but you can you can totally do it yourself carry the team if you like uh, the other party question was and how do we get to Dominion because it won't let me there um, I don't know there might be some sort of uh, error that you're getting it'll show you a problem like maybe the match hasn't started or you know you're not an admin in the troop and you haven't signed up but it's every four hours so yeah so this is it down there at the bottom where Sarge is uh, underneath Battle Royale and to the left of Troop Wars. So, pretty good permanent fixture there, hopefully. Alright, Dominion is great. Uh, let's see. But it lacks certain things that you can make it better for spenders. But it lacks, it lacks that certain thing like, oh, can you make it better? I'm not sure what you mean, make it better for spenders. I know there were some people saying to make it better for non-spenders, um, and for that, I would just definitely recommend you focus on strategy, uh, trying to improve your strategy, going after which ones. Because I mean, honest, uh, I mean I've seen plenty of troops that were, you know, doing a lot of damage on all the different uh, towers, and their opponents were doing the same thing, and neither of them claimed a single tower. So if you focus one event. I mean, all your focus on one tower, claim it, get a couple points, and you beat the other troop. So, I mean, but you still get the individual trophies, but just a little bit of uh, changing things up. Sorry, some of these questions are, answers are a little bit delayed because of the chat, uh, but trying to get to as many of these as I can. All right, let's see. Let me try to get through some more of these. Skins for Twitch followers. That's not a bad idea. What kind of skins, like, like for your sites or for you mean like costumes or something like that? Uh, we did give away a hat uh, a couple Twitch streams ago, which was uh, pretty cool. Might do that again.
Oh yeah, I think uh, someone corrected me. So when I was saying damage cap, I don't mean on how much damage you can do. I mean the minimum amount that you need. So the requirement. So damage to claim. Words are difficult. <laughs> uh, here's one. Can you claim a tower after the other troop already has? Yes. So you would still need to meet that requirement and you just need to do more damage. So uh, the there's a red and a blue bar. So as long as both of you have met the minimum and then someone else um, makes more than that, then they'll regain control of that tower. All right, a few more questions. Here's one. Why does a rock tower not have any zodiac bonus? Um, I guess we could have made them, you know, two, four, six, or whatever, um, and then given a couple to that one. Um, but that just adds to the whole strategy of things. Like, if you're really wanting that zodiac bonus then you might go after one of the specific towers but maybe that's just bait and your opponent will see that and uh and then go after you know the uh, middle one so they might miss out on just a little bit more individual trophies for the chance of getting more troop trophies um because that might be a more secure way of uh getting the points so it's just one of those elements that we've added into to dominion to give it more strategy all right, more questions. Uh, no, I just went over that. The Rock Tower does not have a Zodiac bonus. <laughs> Let's see a few more of these. I've seen some repeated questions. Let's go all the way down to, oh. Uh, yeah, Dominion question of the water tower give, or does the water tower give an attacking bonus when it's attacked by a leaf team? I believe that is the case, but I'll, uh, I'll ask, I'll ask the team just to make sure. And, uh, and if I see another question in BC Global, we can get Maya to answer that, uh, or on Twitter. Okay, let me go all the way down to the bottom to see if there are any new ones. Uh, what? Here's another question. Why are we not earning stones? Um, well, this is a match-based event just like Troop Wars, but Troop Wars is one of the ones that gives you stones. So Dominion doesn't give you stones uh, just because it's a different event. Not all of the events will give you stones. Okay, let's see, a couple more questions and then we'll move on. Okay, here's one more. We claimed a tower and the enemy didn't, but they got only 100 points less than we did. How's that possible? So that might be the bug. Okay, there could there could have been a couple of things. So that might have been the bug that I was discussing earlier, where um, it was very pretty rare bug, I think, but um, where they would attack the tower and then they, you know, the system would think that they claimed it when just a little bit sooner and they didn't. Um, or it could have just been that it was delayed. So if there are a lot of people playing, you know, Sarge might have been delayed on telling you what was going on. Uh, or I mean, he might have been faster telling you what was going on than the towers displaying the correct information. So it could have been either of those, but we put in a fix for the, the first thing that I mentioned. So if you see that again, definitely, definitely contact us at support and uh, we'll continue to look into that. All right, let's move. Let's move on to our next segment. Uh, if you have any more questions, definitely continue asking. And uh, yeah.
All right, where are my notes? What? Ah, uh, here we are. All right. Um, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. All right. I want to keep track of who wins. I think we're gonna give away uh, a five. Okay. So basically, this is what's happening. So I am going to. This is me in the game. Eric Camp, and I'm going to move to a couple of different maps. Each time I move to a different map, it doesn't matter which room I'm in, which server room I'm in, you just need to guess which one of these that I went to. Now, I'm not going to go to anything terrible and cruel like, I don't know, any of these event ones that you can't get to normally. It's just any of the regular ones. So, any of these, any of those. Uh, can't go to Dominion, so don't worry about that. That's not going to happen and arena is still accessible so any of the normal uh, maps I'll go there and uh, so you just throw out throw out a guess maybe I went to the dig site maybe I went to Lost Temple and uh, let's do just whoever says it right you know it's not I'm not gonna pick the first one because of the delay um, but I will pick a random one of the persons who guesses it correctly so here we go all right, moving maps, moving maps. Where did I go? All right, let's have some guesses. Hmm. I see one correct answer. few more seconds more guesses all right where did I go to dum 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 dig site get chunky is our winner for that one Congratulations. You get some gold. Because that's what everybody wanted. Alright. Second. Alright, stop guessing. The winner has been decided. Okay. Go into a different one. All right, let your guesses begin. Hmm. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I see a few correct guesses. Let's do a search. where I went. Dun dun dun! Arena! Boom 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 boom! Just keep in mind that when you're streaming Battle Camp, you can do these games with your followers as well. I'm sure they'll love it. Actually, I forgot to tell you who won that one. I am going to give the winning gold to silver- oh, energy silver. He always said his name backwards. Sorry about that. Energy Silver is the winner. Ironically, he gets called. Wow. Trippy. Alright. Let's see. Where should I go this next time? To be cruel, I should go to the same place. <laughs> Alright. Where did I go this time? I see multiple guesses in one guess. Um, disqualified. Okay, 
give you a few more seconds. I'm just gonna do some things in this map while I'm waiting. A bit of nap where you can do things. It's a terrible hint. I am in the true hall. Oh, <laughs> the salvage screen in the true hall. Yeah, whatever. Same place. All right. Let's see who wins. I am picking this guy. Z the chap. Zach Hap. Hmm. I am known for saying names wrong, but you get some gold. Get some gold. Alright. Let's go to a different one. Let me hear your guesses, please. Gonna go talk to this NPC over here. This character. I'm not gonna say who though. But he says, "Didn't I tell? Didn't I tell you to do something?" No, I'm really asking. I don't remember. Bom 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 bom. Oh yeah, Turtle Falls. Turtle Falls it is. Let's pick a winner. I like this person as the winner. How about Tom Prince 99 is the winner? Let's fight this guy. Break up the mundane. Oh, this guy's tough. I'm totally not winning this. Why is he so hard as a camp monster? Oh, I shouldn't be fighting with fire either. I am totally in trouble. I am choosing the winner randomly. I just find one that uh, said it correctly and uh, give him the gold. Oh please, please! Oh. oh! Well that was embarrassing. I'm not good at battle Kim apparently. <clears throat> Alright, next one. Excuse me. All right, let me see your guesses. No multiple guesses, please. Jeremy BC, looking at you. <coughs> Entering map. Get some more guesses and I'll uh, be a winner. <laughs> All right, Panthers down. Spring clearing. <laughs> Tabitha. All right, let's see who guessed correctly. Spring clearing. The winner. Oh, I lost his username. Uh, here we go. Is let's see. Ah. Uh, 
Sorry, give me a second. I lost it. Ah, here we go. BC Chris 7576 is the winner. Okay, last one for some gold. Let's put up the image. Alright. Guess away. Guess away. You never know. Where can I go? Could be anywhere. Sorry, uh, someone is just messaging me. I think they're trying to trick me. Okay. Alright, I ended up going to camp! Didn't expect that one, did ya? What is Rose saying? Rose wants us to go do something. Says, get out of my hair. Stop bothering me. Get some free stones from Penny. Penny wants me to go and do stuff. How about some, how about give away some gold? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give away some gold to... This person's name is so bright. I can't read it. Hold on. Okay, this person's username is Gerardo. Gerardo99. Sorry, I was having some trouble. Gerardo99. Congratulations. Nice. Alright, that is it for that. Uh, I'll give that gold after the, um, after the stream. So, anything that we do on the stream, pretty much, uh, I post on the forums. So forums.pennypop.com. So if you win, you know, go to the forums. If you, if we have a challenge, you know, go to the forums and check out the information. If you're interested in streaming Battle Camp, which we love, we love uh, having some broadcasters, you know, sharing their gameplay, doing some challenges themselves, or showing guides, showing you how to do things. Um, uh, then yeah, we uh, we have some information for you on there, so you can have you know share tips with each other sorry uh, tips with each other uh, tricks on how you do it how uh, you know how you improve your channel things like that um, or just your specific setup whether you're using PC or Android or Mac or whatever let's see uh, speaking of which so that brings us to our next segment so this week I only saw three people streaming battle camp so I am going to just give them all of the possible energy prizes that we have. So uh, this week I'm just going to do 60 energy uh, because we have less people and I'm going to go around. Reward the faithful. So we have Thiele, Danny, and Brugabud, all winners. So uh, I mean I've been known to give some energy out to quite a bit of people so why not give it a shot. Uh, we also have a simple stream challenge this week uh, for more chance to get prizes. So I didn't run one last week because I talked to you about it on the stream and I forgot to post on the forums and give you the information for that and so that was my bad. So I told you I'd make it up so I've increased the amount of people and the prize just a little bit um, and I think the week before that I had a prize for five people and only had about four or three people who actually participated so Two of those prizes went to nobody. You know, I think think we gave it to the Battlemaster to have her buy some shoes or something like that. And uh, sorry, but uh, I can't win if you can't if you don't participate. So this time I'm going to give away ten prizes of 200 gold for whoever uh, or to ran ten random people whoever completes this challenge. So if only five people uh, participate, then five people get prizes. 
So this stream challenge is pretty simple. So I'll post it on the forum so in case you forget. But all you have to do is stream battle camp, show yourself claiming uh, a tower in Dominion during one of the matches. Uh, you only have to claim one, but just show that off and then post it in the thread that I'm going to create after the stream. Uh, um, if you do it on YouTube, that's fine too. Just post the link and uh, share it. Um, so that will be 10 random individuals and they will each receive 200 gold. So that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty substantial amount of gold for doing a stream challenge and you have a very good chance of getting that. So I would highly encourage everyone to do that. So if you do YouTube and uh, so someone says I always follow you, I streamed on YouTube and didn't get a reward. Um, in order to get the reward, you need to post on the forums so that I can see what you're doing. So um, unfortunately, I don't have eyes everywhere, so I can't see everything. So if you stream Valcamp, I mean, that's great, um, but I need to see it as far as the challenge goes. Uh, let's see. Uh, so last week's winners, we didn't have any last week's winners, and I told you why. And then I already talked about Lost Temple Challenge. Uh, if you're just joining us since then, though, uh, next week we're going to have the Lost Temple Challenge. And keep in mind that this stream will not be on Friday like it is now. It will be the same time, but the day before. It'll be on Thursday. So Thursday, 2 p.m. PDT, that specific uh, daylight time. And uh, so I'll have 23 people join us. Join me and another one of my colleagues here. And we'll be playing Lost Temple. And everyone viewing might just get a prize just for cheering us on. So if we complete the challenge that I set, and uh, then everybody will receive a prize. I'll give out a code, uh, code uh, just like I did for Mosaic. Uh, but we might up the ante. Let's see, what else? Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I see the feedback that everybody gave me during the show, and I appreciate you guys um, watching the show today and giving me your feedback. If you have anything that I didn't address or that you didn't think of, feel free to comment on BC Global or on the fan page or Twitter or the forums, especially especially the forums. We're on there more now, and it's a little bit more organized, so we can see uh, where your questions are or where you're, you know, you know, specific to what you're talking about. Uh, uh, don't forget to enter the fan art contest as well. So we have plenty of avenues for you to try and earn some energy or earn some gold, uh, whether it's the fan art contest, the stream challenge, just streaming battle camp uh, from this week, or just going and uh, viewing our shows here. So anyway, thank you very much, and uh, 